getting feed. Yeah, I'm trying to work out why I'm getting. That's me at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I'm just trying to work out. I got the. I hope I don't get the wrong one. The top two aren't being used. I'm getting feed. Yeah, I'm trying to work out why I'm getting. Okay, I've got that. Get rid of that. Yeah, there's videos coming through. Bottom one. I don't know. Uh. Well, I've got a twelve. I've got a twelve-minute video here with Bev. He's proven a liar on uh, Nathan Oakley's channel. Yeah, you got like, sound in YouTube, so you're good. Yeah, but they can't hear you yet. They'll hear you now. What well, can you hear? Well, now they should be able to. Uh, no, they could hear me. No, they could hear me. They could hear, so they could hear you hear before. Me. Yeah. Can't now. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You have to wait 20 seconds, though. <laughs> no, you definitely weren't coming through before because I, I didn't have your mic open. Uh, no yep. sound coming. Okay. To... So, good. Okay, so now... Paul, which two words did I get wrong? Probably my first and last name. You should get one of them wrong. Sound coming. <laughs> yeah, sound oh, coming. Yeah, sound coming. <laughs> coming. Coming. That's your accent, is it? Sound coming. coming. That's his accent. Hey, um, sound coming. It's okay. Oh, I thought I got one letter out of. What is it? Twenty wrong. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and the AA person <laughs> was a scientist, is a French physicist. I've, I've done worse. Mostly noted for his work in quantum mechanics, particularly quantum entanglement. Together with Antonio Zellinger and John Clauser, he has carried out experiments that established the violation of Bell inequalities and have pioneered the science of quantum information. Who's yeah. it? Who's Zellinger? Anton Zellinger. Yeah, Anton, not Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he actually won the Nobel. He shared the 2022 Nobel Prize hmm. in physics for that, so... Smart cookie. Okay. There. Well, I'll have a look and see if we've got any new Lindsay's. If not, I've got 12 minutes of Bev lying to Nathan Oakley. <laughs> Of who lying to Nathan Nathan? Twelve. Bev. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so have a look and see. I, I suspect got... it's. I suspect it's nine minutes and fifty seconds of Oakley, Oakley telling <laughs> Bev <laughs> what he thinks he'd be in ten seconds of Bev lying. Oh, we've got. Uh, we've got part. A, I don't know if it's not part one or part two. He's got part A. Earth's three D topography is a mirror, as above, so below. <laughs> and he's and he's mo and he's moved his whiteboard. <laughs> oh, we've got a space map. Uh, we're a space map. A space map. Yeah, it's There's a space map. There he is. There. There he is. He's muted. Well, he's... Uh, have you made Alan? Have you ma have you made Alan two IC? Yeah, Alan. Yeah, Alan's the co 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 um co person. Co host. Yeah. 
G'day. He's g'day, got g'day, his... g'day. Hey, Matt. G'day. We're, we're just talking about you. Hey, Matt. Uh... Oh, yeah. Slagging me off again. How are you feeling? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm okay. No, not this we're, time. I was, just, I was just coughing this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did you say? I'm sorry, Tim. It's that bad. You already got a coffin. <laughs> You already got a cough in there. It's that bad. You already got a cough up. <laughs> yeah, well, long, as long as you're able to talk, because there's that four-letter P word that you, you've got to be able to say. Oh, have I? You missed me the last couple of weeks. Mind you, you've been sort of streaming and not streaming. and Yeah, the, computer, the computer's yeah. not happy. <laughs> it, already, it already took a dump, and I've got a new SSD and a new Windows, and I lost all my, lost all my data, but that's a different story, but... We're sort of getting back up up and running again, but the computer's no, right, still okay. not happy. Yeah, it's it crashed the last couple of um streams, so there's, there's something else going oh, wrong. Dear. We don't know. We think it might be ABS because it's we we're using the older version. I've got the twenty eight point one two version now, but the only problem is my um, monitors. A little bit too small for the uh, window of the OBS to have it on the sc on my one monitor, with the Windows window, with the Zoom window, and the chat and everything else. So a little bit squished. We well, seem to be streaming, okay? It's coming through here. I got all right. Yeah, on the stream. Yep. So you, you you're all good at the moment. Yeah, the internet connection's not too bad yep. here. She'd be right, mate. She'd be right. She'd be right. She'd be right. That's why. I, that's why I feel for. Um, she. She. That's she'll. Why, that's why I feel for. She'll Paul be right when Paul's got having issues. Jesus. There. When. What? What happened? Hmm. You called me. Somebody said Jesus. <laughs> Paul, are you all right, Paul? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Why? You, you, like you, people talk over <laughs> people was... talking over me when I'm trying to speak. I wasn't talking though. No, no, you weren't. <laughs> I was just saying about my internet connection. I said I feel sorry for you with, I can feel for you with your connection when it has it has an issue. Are you on your phone tonight or back on the normal? No, I'm on my broadband. That that last weekend, it was out all Saturday and all Sunday. I don't know what was going on. And suddenly it came back and it's been good ever since. So maybe they were fixing a problem. I don't know. And as long as it wasn't the problem I had back at the exchange around the corner here when he went round to have a look at it, <laughs> found it unplugged. I, can't, that's, I still can't believe that. So-called technician. Okay. Now, can we do this sharing and... How do I do that? Open that up. Just check to see if this is working. Trying to get the YouTube video to fit. It looks too big. How do you make it smaller? We need to have a funeral. Where is that? For the elder. In sight. She's dead. She died. Who did? In sight. The Mars lander. Oh. It died. It's dead now. Well. <laughs> no. Either dead or dying. No connection at all. Um. Well, I think that, like, as far as I know, there's no signal, but I think... Um, the bods at uh, JPL are hoping for uh, a dust devil to come along and blow all the dust off its uh, solar panels, but yeah, unlikely. 
<laughs> but you never know. But as far as I know, it's it's. Can they yeah, get their? Um, I was going to say, can't they get their? Um, uh, uh, the drone over there. <laughs> no, it's a bit far away. I think. <laughs> Perseverance or curiosity, one or the other. No, I think they're a bit far away. Yeah. Probably. Get the little flying drone over there. You know, that's going to yeah. not produce a lot of brains, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, the the the, uh, the rovers don't 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 travel very fast. They're not beat for speed. <laughs> I don't no. think that fits in the window. Or is that too small? Besides, what would what the rovers do when they got there? Blow it off. Yeah. What yeah. is? Well, I mean, curiosity and perseverance—they don't have solar panels um unlike um the previous two rovers um and but you know, unlike this insight they have the uh oh i forget the name of it so suppose a small reactor i guess it draws power from uh decay of radioisotopes i think paul could probably explain it better than i could Right, that's the best I can do for that. Uh, oh, just just a quickie, Matt. Did you did you see that photo I sent you? Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> I I, yeah. I think the shadow directions are all very very um, familiar, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It took me a little, little while to figure out what you were, what you were talking about, and I was looking at it. What what's he on about? And then, oh, oh yeah, the shadows, <laughs> like diverging, or should I say, convert? No, diverging shadows. Well, they all point in the wrong direction, according to yeah, Apollo denies. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Must admit, it took me a while to figure that out. What you do, what you're talking right, about. So, so do I transition there and then share? Try it that way around. Oh, that, yeah, it still does the same thing. It zoom completely disappears disappears in the preview side. So that's an issue that I'm going to have to figure out what's going on there. Yeah. Okay, this is in studio. Yeah, it's in the, yeah, in the preview side, when I switch over to share, in the preview side, the zoom won't come back up. I have to go back into the settings and tell it to come back. Ah, uh, yeah. So you mean in the stream itself, it's kind of all a bit um, enlarged, isn't it? And about of yeah, I whack. can't see the live stream at the moment. I don't know what you're Actually, seeing out there. Yeah, turn it on and have a look, and you'll see what I mean. Ah, uh, okay. I can have a quick look. Yeah, okay. I yeah, can't, that's what I mean. Yeah, I can't get the screen to be any bigger. Oh, come back again. It needs to be bigger, but I can't. Try that. Ah. Well, I could put Zoom back. Oh, no, you got to stop sharing. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's zoom back. Now get back the chrome window. Just trying to make it a bit bigger in the... I want the YouTube window to fit in the preview window. Is there any way you can reduce the border, Alan, that will make it enlarge? You know how you can do it manually by grabbing the sides and the corners to drag something bigger? Is there any way to reduce that border? What, that, on, in... The, um, in the preview side, when, you, when you've when got something and you want to gr yeah, grab it by... Would, yeah, gra grab, it, grab an edge and drag it in instead of dragging it out. Yeah, but it's running out off the edge of the window of the OBS to 
to grab the edge of it. It's, it's, it's uh, too, yeah, you have to slide you it over. To, you, have, you, have to, you have to move it over. Yeah. Then it might make it small. Or you could right-click it and hit pick the screen. Yeah, because that will make it fit in the screen. And then you can resize it to what you need. Okay, I'll try because that. Because you can drag, because if you have to drag it back out a bit, you can, but it's it's a bit of a pain in the backside to do it on the to have to do it on the fly. Yeah, I know. I just want to set it and forget it. Because once I've set it, I'm not going to. I don't want to play with it again. <laughs> Okay then. Giggling, that should Timber. give me. I heard that giggling. That should give me the full <laughs> YouTube. So I just. I don't think I'll ask Terry about his curtains. Ask about me what? Uh, Tony Captain was asking whether you were fixing your PC or hanging some curtains. Oh. <laughs> Just trying to get rid of the top bit of the video. I only want the bottom. Yeah. Bottom bit. Why won't it go any bigger? For some reason it won't go any bigger. What is... I don't know what's going uh... on. I'm doing something wrong here. I keep dragging that. Uh... Yeah, I think sometimes you... I, th I think it... It's awkward because you need the edge that you're going to be moving to be inside the display area. Yeah. While you adjust it, and then you have to shove it back out to where you need it to be. It's not always the most, like I say, it's not always the most convenient thing to be doing on the fly. Yeah. And I can't get it quite big enough unless I go back to studio. Unless I go back to default view. I'd have to have it on default view. Go back to fit screen again. That's what she said. There you go, I've said it. Tiny Captain told me to say it, so I said it. A bit late, but I'm a... Where's Blue? Blue's here. I'm here. Right here. He's there. I'm here. He's saluting you for some reason, Blue. I don't know why. I, I used to be somewhere else, but now I'm here. Oh, okay. Hey, no matter where you go, there you are. Well, you're always hey, Blue, somewhere, aren't you? I, hey, Blue, I think um, Australia Post have come up with a brand new delivery technique. I, I reckon what they do is they receive something in Melbourne... They deconstruct it, send instructions to my town, where they then rebuild it and deliver it to me. That, that, that they must be doing that because I still haven't got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go down. To, I'm going to take it down to the post office and have them start looking. I asked the guy I was down there the other day, and I forgot to take the ticket with me. And he said, "I don't know. Maybe it's hung up in customs." Well, I don't think so. Uh, but anyway, well, last we heard, it was in Melbourne, wasn't it? Well, it says, let's see, I've got it right here. Yeah, it says it's in Melbourne. <laughs> That's what, Maybe a couple hundred is... miles from you? About 250 miles. Yeah. That's closer than it was. <laughs> yeah, but it's been, it's, it's been closer than it was for 10 fucking days now. I know, I know. <laughs> It's lucky it's not urgent. <laughs> <laughs> so it's no closer than it was nine days ago then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it got stuck in Melbourne. Yeah. Have you are you are you like us? Have you are you postal workers on strike by any chance? No? No. No. Not in Australia. Oh, I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> Everybody's on strike here over in the UK. Everybody's starting to go on strike. Postal workers, train drivers, bus drivers, nurses. Who else, uh, Alan? Can you think of anybody else that's going on strike? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. 
That's about all of them, I think. I'm sure there's going to be somebody else like uh, soon that's going to be going on strike. Oh yeah, uh, uh, I'm not, I, I don't know if it's the same in Northern Ireland or not. Well, it is in Northern Ireland. They're talking about going on strike. The uh, ambulance workers, ambulance drivers, paramedics. Priority calls only. They're going to be operating on the system of priority calls only. So everybody else is not going to get an ambulance. Yeah, firefighters would be next. Uh, so are we getting the green goddesses out again then? What was that on? Oh, I, I was lucky I managed to miss the fire, fireman's strikes. So I never got I never got to play with the green goddess. No, oh, did you oh you didn't? No, oh, shame. No. I do remember I do remember them. I remember the green goddesses. Yeah. I do remember them. It's all one Although two. although um <clears throat> the, the unit I was at, the engineering sec, uh, the engineering squadron or wing, had to provide a um, a fire picket to to support the to support the three firemen on site. <laughs> yeah, so so they they had a proper they had a proper tender, you know, proper prize. We we had a, a we had a we had a lightweight Land Rover. With a Coventry Climax trailer pump on the uh, on a trailer on the back, on on behind, towed behind it, that oh, we probably. could that we could whiz around in to to drive to the nearest emergency water tank and um, set up a couple of hoses. So I can do all the fire. I, I used to be able to do all the fireman stuff. <laughs> We we even we even used to be trained to run the um, breathing apparatus boards so that um, all of the all of the actual trained firemen could go into a building to to deal with it, leaving us outside responsible for them or irresponsible for them. In the case <laughs> <of them. laughs> no, we were we were, we were, we we were pretty good. And the nice thing was, they used to train everybody to do every role. So even, even if even if you weren't, you know, as a, a, a as another rank, you were you you were trained to do the um, NCOIC's job. So so literally so literally anybody in the, anybody in our section was capable of doing all of this stuff if needed. Paul, you there? I am here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just check in. And um, Matt, you there? No, I'm somewhere else. Hmm? Okay. I just thought you might, might have liked to use your favorite Paul that a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. What, play what? We're, we're, we're nearly there. <laughs> <laughs> everything's all over the place. This, Every, everything's all over the place at the moment. What? Flip <laughs> or <laughs> the one that rides with truck or that one? Yeah, I got one like that too. It's oh. duck. <laughs> oh, ducking hell! No, I'm sure he walks through the yard and says, "You." Ducks. <laughs> All the time. You ducks. You duck and duckers. Duck and duck. <laughs> Changed all the filters on our um, fogger systems today, and it's like a, a system of four sequential filters. One's a um, a 25 micron, then there's a um, 10 micron, and then a 5 micron and a 1 micron. Some genius had put the one micron filter first, the five <laughs> micron filter second. Oh, no. Wrong way around. Ten micron filter third and the 25 micron filter last. So, <laughs> like, the <duh, duh. laughs> You wonder why the more one micron one was getting clogged up so quickly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Did they think the water was flowing the other way around or something? Or what? I mean, it must have done. Alright. Well, if we go to share. Okay. Let's. So I lose that over there. Got sound here. I hope. Oh, that looks better. Okay. So I got yep. that. Ish. Sort of. It's, it looks yeah, quite well, bigger <laughs> than usual, but it's alright. Um, it, it should be. Well, it looks smaller. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. No, it doesn't matter. It's all right. I think it looks okay. You want to try it? Uh, should be. Just trying to get rid of that out of the road. Get out of the road, you. Right. Okay, I'm ready, I think. I think I'm ready to go. Oh. That's, that's, uh, you want to press play then, Terry? Okay, we'll give it a go. Maybe. Maybe. Where is he? Oh, Welcome nice. to another video <laughs> from Planet Philosophy. Oh, yeah. My name's Lindsay. Today's video is on a couple of uh, uh, comments I got on my channel by um, scientists, as usual. They they like to show off how well they like to they like to make out they're intelligent, and what I'm talking about is a load of rubbish. So they throw <laughs> a, a technical question at you, hoping they'll trip you up. You see, but. I know, I know my entire flat earth model is correct, you can't debunk it, so I know I'll always have an answer. <laughs> so when they bring something to me, I'll quickly research to see what the hell they're talking about. Yeah, how do you debunk sure enough, something that doesn't make sense? I'll latch onto it straight away. And just recently yeah, I've had a couple of You will always have an answer, it'd be the wrong answer. But Here's yeah. one of them. Answer, I suppose. <laughs> it's an this answer. Is, see, sometimes I get this sort of thing going on, and because I come back with a very good answer, um, they quickly take it down. You don't see, hear from them anymore. I went back to look at this one, I couldn't find it, but mate, I haven't, I should check again. He might have taken off already. So, this is referring to my recent video. Um, I'm not sure, maybe it's referring to the, I'm not sure exactly what, why he came up with this, but anyway. You want to look this up, okay? Comparison of high pressure geoid models in Switzerland. And this is the site, www.researchgate.net slash publication 226149726 this is a doozy for flat earthers mind-blowing actually quite revealing now what it's about i should read it actually i'll read it <laughs> he hasn't read it <laughs> oh, <he's fine. laughs> the recent released national geoid model chgeo 2004 of switzerland was determined by combining gravity vertical deflections and GPS slash leveling. Its accuracy is in the order of two to three centimeters. As could be verified by comparison with independent data, in addition to the standard models. In bracket, topography and global geo potential model. Close brackets. A simple 3D density model of the Earth's crust has been introduced for the reduction of the observations. The method for the calculations was basically least squares collocation with a slight modification in the way that the parameters of the covariance function <laughs> have been chosen <laughs> to minimize the resulting oh, residuals you know, between the astro feels you with so much confidence and the he's talking gravimetric <laughs> in the gps yeah. slash leveling geoid model geoid i think he's going to say cations next, although chgeo <laughs> is the result of a combination of different data sets Individual pure astrogeodetic, gravimetric, and GPS leveling solutions have been calculated as well. This gave us the <clears throat> this gave us the opportunity to investigate the systemic discrepancies. We'll stop with a pure astrogeodetic astro geodetic solution. We obtain a global accuracy of about six centimeters, with some larger systematic differences to the combined solution of up to two. 20 centimeters. The deflections of the vertical are the most sensitive data sets set in respect to the variation, the covariance model. Gravity and GPS leveling are less sensitive to changing the covariance function, 
Nevertheless, especially GPS leveling shows rather large differences to the solutions of the other data sets in some areas. The official geoid model that has been released to the survey community is strongly based on GPS slash leveling, since their principal use of the geoid model is GPS height determination, which should be in agreement with leveling. Well, that doesn't seem like what I just read before. Deflections, <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it's a load of <laughs> jargon there. Put some of you to sleep already. But anyway, what they're basically doing there and showing or telling us, because it's about GPS and deflections, zenith cameras. They've got the equipment to bounce off the, the firmament. Right? They know all the heights. No, wrong. To the zenith cameras. Wrong, but it's the it's about light, um, detecting the light. There's a word for that. Can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, getting feedback off the, off the light, the stars or whatever. And this is what... Um, Spectroscopy. This is, this is why you have the, say in the almanac, why Need you have the, uh, the GPS of the star to the, sec, to the second. Through the sort of system here they've had for years. So what, in effect, this is mind-blowing. You know the ancient Egyptians and their... Um, what do you call it? I don't know. You're doing the video. Yeah, you're telling <laughs> yeah. the story. And it is a, it's only a story. Re reliefs. Reliefs. They're reliefs. This is along the same lines. This is what the, this is the hints that they've left us all the secrets. And their reliefs are showing us this. As soon as I started reading that, I knew exactly what they meant. You see, they take readings off here. And they bounce back to the earth here. This, is, this takes you back to the... The same, as above, so below. Which you're getting this the formation of the landmass up here. It comes down here. It's mirrored down here. What? That's, that's what they're doing. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> what do you Somehow. Well, I know, I just know that's it. That's the way it is. It's, I just can you, re can can you rewind it, Lindsay, <laughs> so I can... About. Reword it in the different order the make, make sense what? by doing this. So the topography of Earth looks like the stars above. I used to wonder a couple yeah. of years ago what exactly are they doing with these <laughs> what a load of nonsense. Are they wandering the sea? How how can a topography? Uh, I'm not going to even try to wrap my head around <laughs> that one. That no. The da dome's are no longer smooth. You see, it's now. <laughs> what it's textured. Apparently. <laughs> Well, is it like one of those relief um, boards that you get relief with all maps, the yeah. mountains and valleys on it? I mean, I like the way he just whistles past things like he says, oh, they just they, they take measurements. Like, yeah. <laughs> can, can you be a bit more specific about what kind of measurements? What are they using to take measurements? Yeah. What is it they're actually measuring? How accurate are their measurements? You know, like. Yeah, what instruments what procedure do they, they use? use to take those measurements? And what instruments are they yeah. using? Yeah, none of that. Oh, they just look, oh, they take measurements. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But well, that was his statement, wasn't it? Along the lines of oh, I don't really know what it is, but I know I know the well, wasn't quite like that, but you know, <laughs> I know what it is, you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> I can't also like you're making it up. <laughs> I like how he's drawn the wiggly lines on the on that half semi semisphere that he's got there. Yeah, what's Taking that shots at every flipping star. <laughs> but there's a bit more to it than that, but that's this is what they're doing. So check out the site, read it. I'm sure you'll come to the same conclusion. This is what's going yeah. on. Oh wait. This is probably no. a bit mind blowing for most, <laughs> but it's it's fact. So anyway, that's one. The other one is astronomical time and astronomical astronomical time and atomic time now i recently did a video about atomic time did you? specific about atomic time i'm not quite, quite can't can't quite remember but um i put i put it down to the um i knew it was celestial and i put it down to these stars <laughs> you did the video but it's, it's niggling <laughs> yeah. away at me and I, I knew it wasn't quite right so i looked into it after i did the video and blow me down, this flipping video came up. This one's mind blowing. I'll show you that one. This is very, very rebelling. <laughs> Back in 
the way, uh, up again to my emails. So, shoot. Down to about the seventh. Me. There it is. Oh, I should have taken a photo of this specific area of interest. Oh, I think I did. I did. Um, you know, I read it to you, okay? So it's this one here. Uh, basically, there are two types of time standard. There's one based on astronomy, and it's called astronomical time. The other is based on the frequency of atomic oscillations, and it's called atomic time. Astronomical time is based on the repetition of astronomical events for setting frequency standards. For example, the occurrence of day and night is caused by the rotation of the Earth, which is a load of bullshit. That's just the moving of the stars, okay? So you've got the star movements. But as I've told everybody on my site, the sun is quicker than the stars. So this causes the alteration here. Because this... The, um, well, we'll just read on here first. For example, the occurrence of day and night is caused by the rotation of Earth and seasons by the Earth revolving around the sun. So that's... So we'll go into that. That's a load of rubbish. So the stars move up <laughs> over us every day because the... Yeah, that's just a load of rubbish. Turning, never ending. 360 rotation over 24 hours sends its images out into our realm. So unplaced... There's a projector is in here, unseen to us, inside the Arctic, inside the, the stem of the apple, where the stem comes out. So that's turning, so it's sending the images out all the time. And the sun is in there too. But the sun is in the, it's like on the inside track of the ecliptic plane, so it's quicker. So it catches up to the stars. Um, oh, so the sun is in Antarctica now, is it? The seasons okay. by the earth. That's always been there. The sun. We, we the only seasons, see the projection of uh, yeah. We only the see the projection the of the sun than the stars. It's oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Spinning ball bullshit earth out there in an ecliptic plane, flying around the sun. Total garbage. It's down here. The sun is in there. The image is coming around. Must be pretty the hot there, the where the sun is in the middle of it. all the background stars, so it catches up. That's all. Yeah, it, it must be really hot with all that ice um, there. You know, seasonal changes, but there's also the. Um, the tilting. So the sun doesn't tilt, but it follows the ecliptic plane, which does tilt. So imagine that tilting down, the sun will skim, say, say it skims across the top of it. So every observer sees it in his arc of horizon. You'll see the sun on that curved line. It's a curved field. So you're on a flat, and the plane's curved, is sloped down. Let's say it's the solstice, December solstice. The field is sloped down and out. It turns like this. The sun follows that slope, but the magnetic fields are curved toroidal field we're in, remember? So the sun will be seen anywhere around that curve, depending on where the person is, on latitude. He will get his image. But it's curved. So this curving time, that, that's the same time across the flat plane of Earth. So that curves like this, or to the tropics that is, and it curves this way from the south, but that curve will have the same time all the way up that curve. Then you'll all see it from your different locations. Every, every man has an arc of horizon. Check out my other videos. But anyway, yeah, so you've got the sun turning every day, but you've also got this ecliptic plane movement over the whole year, up and down. Down and out, up and in. So you've got that movement as well. All within here, because the ecliptic plane's in there, in, there, in the centre. Sun's in the centre, the wings come up, wings go down. That's the bird head. Well, the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians describe all this. <laughs> Wondering off my topic. Um, in the past, people used sundials to indicate the time derived from the sun's apparent what did he position. Just say? What? Apparent position, okay? <laughs> and was referred to as a power. I can rewind it for you, Matt, if you want. However, as the <laughs> no, earth no, revolves no, 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 no. around the sun. <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. In an elliptical orbit, which it does not, do an elliptical orbit, and due to the inclination of the Earth's rotational accent, there's no inclination, there's inclination. That's the tropical, I mean, that's the seasonal change. They're clipping, playing, tilting. Okay? I've done videos on all this. The speed of the apparent motion of the sun varies on. through the year. It, it, it doesn't really vary through the year. It's a position. They're just comparing it with the catching up with the stars and the declination. Okay? Um, so it varies through the year and apparent solar time. So, yeah, so there, there is variation there from what we see, okay? Because you see that in the sun's in a lemma. Um, and there's a 16-minute delay each side of the two earthly seasons. You've got 60 minutes more in the wide south, south, southern hemisphere. At the same time, you've got 16 less in the northern hemisphere. So it's like a two-sided thing, you know. But anyway, um, because of the hemisphere, so of the year, 
and the parent solar time is as such non-uniform. Yeah. A more uniform time standard called mean solar time is defined by the uniform motion of a fictitious sun on the celestial sphere that agrees with the average apparent solar time, universal time. You can go read all this yourself. But anyway, this is a, this is a um, it's Hong Kong, it comes out of Hong Kong, scientists. They, they, so science knows of the fictitious sun, they call it the fictitious sun, but it's the sun back in creation. Because the sun back in creation, it's all bright. It sits there like that, it, it looks all bright. You've got the ecliptic plane all the way around it. It's a circular ecliptic plane. It's not, it's not oval. And that's not oval. It's just the sun's like that. makes it look oval. Because if you follow that oval appearance like that, right? But it's all circular. And the sun is on the inside track. These are all the tracks. These are all the planets. There's your, there's your sun. That's why, this is why it's the goose, the golden goose, the golden egg. The sun is the yolk. <laughs> And uh, because all the energy <laughs> comes around here, there's all the energy here. It gets weaker as it moves out. And all the planets are slower, right? And so the sun is going, is going to move quicker. It's on the inside race track. So that's, that's the real sun in creation. Right back in there. But this ecliptic plane out here goes that flaps yeah, down and up and down really like the wings small of the birds. And they're nature, all fitting in there with it's the earthly. sun. And it's quicker than the stars. So they're using stars as a time, and and then you've got the movement. You know, the, the sun's curving like this as it, as we see it. it. Could be there, 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 depending on where you are on Earth. You'll be looking at it. In one of these curved magnetic field lines. This this is basically. He makes this up the on the fly. And... What happens in the he north? Does. And that's the, that's the basic picture in the north. The south is a mirrored image. All the ancient. Lots of ancient lit literature talk of the mirrors, the mirror effect. Do That's they? what's happening. As this turns, there's always a mirror effect image out here. So science knows of the fictitious sun, the sun back in creation. I thought I was the only one who knew about it. But no, they do know about it. <laughs> That's why I'm not getting any... It's gone really quiet. No one's, you know, coming forth saying I'm full of BS. Oh, you get the odd guy, but he doesn't know. <laughs> And then they come up with things like this, and then I, I know exactly what they're Why don't you about. go on other people's so YouTube on channels and, and um, have a talk to them, Lindsay? So, two mind-blowing oh, videos. What do you do? This. Yeah, well, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> so yeah, give I, a thumbs yeah. up, get a Sorry about that. and get this out there. Globe Anyone busters. looking at these two sites. <laughs> and and uh, the only response they got, he got from was tuned. interesting. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need to you talk about. You mean the standard his response? Yeah. Probably think of something else later. I should put him on Cosmology Tartaria over on the Discord, see what they think. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they're aware of him anyway. Yeah. Well, that was a load of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, sorry about did, that. Did you expect? Did Did you expect anything different, Paul? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but come on, that was worse than his usual nonsense, wasn't it? Well, it's more a than lot, nonsense really. than his usual nonsense. <laughs> I think it's still down there in the le at that level of. Uh. I've completed that a twash. <laughs> I mean, all I can really say about that is. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's right, Fondal. Lindsay in reality parted ways a long, long time ago. Major present, Doctor. Pardon? Major present. See if I'm getting up. Oh, why is it not up? Why is turtle all twisted? Yeah, what happened to the turtle? I don't know, he's obviously in distress because he's. He, he, he seems to have his um, flipper stuck up out of the surface of the water, doesn't he? He does. He's gone all weird. <laughs> he's not... he's kind of he's gone. kind of flipped upside down, but his but his head is still the right way up. That's, that's... <laughs> he's, he's died. I I I, I, I just assume <laughs> the turtle have nice flexible necks, like a lot of. Um...
those types of creatures do. Ooh. Oh, he's gone very mid. Let's try again. <laughs> Back. Uh, they sort of back together. Oh, he's gone up for a bit the of fresh air. Network bandwidth is low. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yes. Well, everything seems to be working all right so far, Terry, from uh, at least... Uh, how long have we been maybe, going maybe for? Not, not, maybe hour. not quite 100% from your end. But... Uh, we've, got a, we've got been going for an hour. Oh, you got to nearly two hours last week, last time, didn't you? Yeah, 